Hey there, Sagittarius. Thank you for being here. This is your weekly reading for the week of June 10th. Uh, this week, if you'd like to catch me live, I go live every single day at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. All you have to do is subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and you will catch me live. But Sagittarius, uh, let's see what we have going on for you here and Sag. All right. You have uh, two nines, which Aries also, I think Aries had the exact same two nines in their reading. So, and in the same spots as well. Uh, your overall energy for the week is the hangman. So I do feel like some of you could feel stuck, but uh, you have the nine of clubs here as well, which again, Aries had. So you might want to watch Aries reading. It's uh, it's very, it's somewhat similar to this reading is what I'd say, but you might want to go and watch that. Um, but the uh, hangman here. And you have the Nine of Clubs. This would represent a change in perspective. The Hangman is hanging upside down. He's gaining a new perspective on some sort of issue that he's dealing with. Or it doesn't even have to be an issue. It could be something positive that you're dealing with. But this says kind of look at things from all angles. And in kind of, again, what leads me to the belief that's what the true meaning of this card is for you is that Nine of Clubs. Nine of Clubs is a card of like experimentation, trying new things. So, you know, again, it kind of could represent looking at things from new angles. So whatever you're dealing with, whether it be positive, negative, whatever, I feel like you need to kind of like look for other options kind of look at it from a different point of view pretty much everything and that will probably lead to very quick success you end with the six of diamonds which is just the luckiest card in the deck so there's definitely a lot of luck for you here uh, this week but you uh start off with i feel like i dropped a card here let me look I did, I did drop a card. You start off with the Nine of Spades here and the Ace of Hearts. So I feel like some of you definitely could be letting go of a relationship or leaving a relationship or maybe you are thinking about a past relationship here. The Nine of Spades says like if there's heartbreak, it will be temporary. This is a card of a temporary blessing in disguise, but it can also just represent a temporary difficulty or challenge that you're dealing with. Uh, the Ace of Hearts is a very positive card. Uh, by the way, if you are looking for a job, uh, Nine of Spades says take a part-time position or a temporary position. Nine of Spades represents Presents temporary or part-time work that could become full-time so it's definitely a very good um, you know if you're having a hard time finding a job maybe something temporary for now would be a good idea and again you, you'll probably get an offer with this ace of hearts for others I feel like this could just be new love that's on its way maybe not this week but uh, definitely in the near future uh, next you have the seven of clubs and the ten of hearts yeah uh, look, that one went flying there. Uh, the This is a fortune after difficulty. A lot of you with the seven of clubs there could have felt trapped. This is a card of limiting circumstances, limiting uh, situations, trying to escape from limiting situations. So a lot of you could be very focused on just removing a lot of limiting things from your life. I feel like, um, you know, I said this to Aries as well, um, that with Uranus and Taurus, we I, I think everybody will want more freedom in their life and will want to not be, like, not feel trapped or feel so bound to something. So a lot of you could just, you know, I feel like a lot of people are doing this is what I would say but ten of hearts is fortune after difficulty so any uh, difficulties that you've been dealing with could be coming to an end with the seven of clubs uh, the ten of hearts is also a card of dating so again if you're looking for love I would definitely say date this comes up for a lot of people right now it definitely seems to be a time to focus on dating if you want love and needing to like really put the work in so I would definitely do that if you're one of those people who says oh I don't want to date well I would say just do it if you want love you got to date you know and if you say you don't want to date then you're telling you the universe you don't want love so I would just say just get out there do it get a bun bunch of free dinners do what you got to do and you'll probably meet somebody if you do that uh, for others I feel like this could be you noticing people in your life really weird message I'm getting here like I feel like this could be you noticing people being more loyal to you so you could be building up a lot of supportive friends and things like that with this these two cards uh, next you have the nine of clubs and the jack of hearts yeah like I said this could be a new love offer uh, coming in for you this is just the card of recognition and achievement so and this is a card of an admirer so this could be somebody who takes notice of you this could be somebody who is attracted to you or and you're probably attracted to them and and, you know, could definitely be a love offer coming in. For others, this is a card that says try everything. Uh, Nine of Clubs is my card of throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks. It says that you need, it, like, now is a time of experimentation. Now is a time to try new things. And now is the time to try something different. People always, like, come to me and they're like, what business should I start? I'm like, well, just try try one. If it doesn't work, move on to the next. It's like, it's a great time to do that. But you have to give, like, a concentrated effort to everything that you do. Really, I would say that as far as a like you know if you're one of those people wondering what business should i start you should take something you're interested in and try to start a business around it and you should focus only on that one thing you should just make it work really um because you know again even though you have this card of experimentation this just says that you sh like 
you know, really, I just feel like it should be a concentrated effort is what, I, is what I'm trying to say. Because it's like you shouldn't just hop from thing to thing to thing. But let's say you're into makeup or whatever you're into. It's like maybe you try to start a blog. Maybe that doesn't work out. Maybe you start a YouTube channel, right? It's about just like doing the same thing but trying different things to get attention to whatever it is that you're doing. That will lead to success. Now, this is also my card of needing to stand out at work. So a lot of you should be, you know, I always say when this card comes up, like do extra work, do extra things to try to stand out so that you can get noticed at work. And, you know, if you do, that will probably lead to like an offer, raise, promotion, whatever. Uh, in your challenge position, you have the Queen of Hearts and Four of Diamonds. Yeah, wait, some of you, this would be waiting for love. That could be a challenge for you. Four of Diamonds is literally the card of patience for your soulmate. And it says you need to be patient at this time for your soulmate. And, you know, maybe waiting is a, is a challenge. Um, maybe there has been a change in direction of love with this Queen of Hearts. So maybe some sort of change in direction, like a breakup. Or maybe you're going, you feel like you're going backwards in your relationship. And that could be a little bit challenging for you. Four of Diamonds is, I mean, these are both really good cards. Even showing up in your challenge position so I feel like there is still a lot of good energy around you some of you might not be feeling very stable financially that could be affecting your emotions here as well so I would be careful of that uh, the good news is your solution to this is the four of hearts here and the four of clubs look at this two fours so stability so stability is definitely coming in we kind of talked about this with the seven of clubs leading you know saying that that's going to lead to more improvements and you know kind of you re removing limiting situations from your life four of clubs says that your thoughts could be clearer you know especially coming up in this solution position it could say that you're more aware of what you need to do to change your life and it could also just say that your thoughts are in line with the truth so trust your intuition trust your thoughts as well four of hearts would be new love so if you're looking for love there could be new love coming in this would represent communication coming in as well so some of you could be receiving communication from a new love or a new love interest for others this is just a card of like this is a card of a home but it doesn't represent your house it just represents the feelings of home like safety security comfort protection so those are all things that a home provides so a lot of you could be feeling kind of like feeling more of those feelings this week so you could just be feeling more supported if that makes sense and uh, finally like i said the luckiest card in the deck yeah king of hearts look at this king of hearts is the card of return of love to your life it does not mean an ex coming back it means that the feelings of being with somebody that you can be in love with are kind of returning to your life six of diamonds says don't be too closed off don't be too shy it is a card of shyness so it can represent being closed off if you meet someone new so if you like someone make sure to open up is what this says but really overall this is the luckiest card in the deck it's called the clover like a four leaf clover so i feel like there's like a lot of lucky breaks coming in for you i feel like there's a lot of luck around you at this time as well this does not mean gamble by the way um it just means that you know you will be probably finding yourself in luckier situations in all areas of your life um it's also a card of more money so some of you could be, this could be like a job offer. You could be getting a new job. I feel like some of you have already started a new job. And again, this could be a lot of luck coming in for you there. And uh, what else? I feel like if you need money, there could be money coming in from somebody as well. So if you need money, this could be like your parents giving you money or a friend or something like that who supports you. This is like a card of a loan. So, um, but I feel like somebody's giving you money for just some of you is kind of what I'm feeling. Uh, for others, this is definitely a love offer but uh, overall this looks like a really positive week definitely stability is the focus here so thank you for watching and enjoy your week